fellow Ghanaians, good evening. Let me thank you yet again for welcoming me into your homes. This being the 20th time since the outbreak of COVID-19 in the country, and the first since the election of 7th December, where Ghanaians once again repose their confidence in me for another four years. When I delivered update number 19 on 8th November, I indicated that the nation, in the course of that week, was recording on the average 130 new cases of infections per day, and thus urged all Ghanaians not to let their guard down. It has been six weeks since that appeal, and within that period, We've had a vigorous political campaign season and elected a president and 275 members of parliament by over 13 million Ghanaians across some 38,000 polling stations in accordance with the effective safety protocols put in place by the Electoral Commission. Despite the genuine fears of many that we would see a surge in cases, who have, on the contrary, witnessed a stable daily rate of infection of between 130 and 100 cases. Indeed, the total number of active cases has reduced marginally from 1,139 as of Friday, 6th November, to 946 as of Friday, 18th December. Our hospitalization rates continue to be very low, and our treatment centers are virtually empty. As per data from the Ghana Health Service, some regions at the moment have no recorded active cases, and long may this continue. So on behalf of government, I want to thank our fellow Ghanaians who continue to adhere to the social distancing hand washing, hand hygiene, and mask wearing protocols, which serve us well. Our heroic health workers have seen to 52,675 recoveries, for which the country is extremely grateful. Unfortunately, 13 more deaths from COVID-19 and its complications have been recorded bringing the total number of fatalities to 333 out of the 53,954 confirmed cases. May their souls rest in peace. The data tell us that we are experiencing in Ghana clusters of cases linked largely to confined indoor spaces with poor ventilation, workplaces, offices, factories, schools, parties, and arriving passengers at our airport. Fellow Ghanaians, the recent news of emergency approval of COVID-19 vaccines by the Food and Drugs Administration of the United States of America and the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency of the United Kingdom provide considerable optimism and hope for the world in our battle to defeat the pandemic. Ghana, I assure you, is not going to be left behind in having access to the vaccines. I'm aware of the anxieties relating to the safety and efficacy of newly developed vaccines. Government will ensure that the COVID-19 vaccines to be deployed in the country are effective and are safe. To this end, I've put together a team of experts from the relevant institutions and agencies who are working assiduously towards the procurement and deployment of the vaccines in Ghana. The briefings held by the Ministry of Information will keep the nation updated on this matter. Until then, and with barely a week to the Christmas festivities, which bring in its wake family reunions, parties, and many social and religious gatherings, I urge all of us to err on the side of caution 
and observe the COVID-19 safety protocols, no matter where we find ourselves. The dynamics of the virus has taught us that if you must host or attend such events, they are best held safely outdoors or in very well-ventilated halls, rather than in closed, air-conditioned spaces. Even when organized outdoors, there must be adequate spacing for the maintenance of social distancing. Organizers of such events, public or private, should ensure the presence of Veronica buckets, soap and sanitizers, and must insist that patrons use them as frequently as possible. I entreat all persons with underlying ailments such as hypertension, diabetes, chronic liver disease and asthma to pay particular attention to their health during the festive season. It is important to stress that our borders by land and sea will remain closed to human traffic until further notice. Beaches, pubs, cinemas and nightclubs remain closed until further notice. All other institutions that have been cleared to function are to continue to do so in strict adherence to the COVID-19 protocols. So my fellow Ghanaians, I make this plea to all of you to ensure compliance with the enhanced hygiene and mask wearing protocols that have become part of our daily routines. This will help us in the fight against the virus. And we are Brunya, Breya, and DJ Bibri, Bekoso, I Bekwa, sorry, and Nishiemu, Miss Remo, Yan Koso, and Boya, who buy. Teach you, yes, sir, Masson, Yan Hoyan, sir, Nian Titi and Tem, Nan, the Beboy, and my Pam Yari, no free a I remember. Bronya ne mi mi se pi baba no wo ba ya so mo ke pe mi panya fai wo ya no ni wo bu wo hi titi wo wo mask wo forward ni wo hani gbe aka wo tin no ni ba wa wo ni wo se hele na ke je wo ma na ni this too shall pass for the battle is still the lords may god bless us all in our home